I mean, sex bomb is a, a guided clitoral stroking practice. And it is the, it's the, kind of the, the bedrock foundation embodiment practice of a lot of my teachings, but it's not the only thing that I teach, right? And I mean, I teach, I have a whole business modality that I created that doesn't use any of the standard tricks of business. So like I, no selling to pain, no scarcity, no compression, like, um, you know, I would never do like a Cyber Monday deal or I don't put anything on sale, no discounts, like no hard selling, no, um, no tricky selling, mm -hmm. you know, everything is done in a completely different way. And it's really funny because there were, there, there are a lot of people who are looking to do business differently. And a lot of them come to me for this. Mm -hmm. And and the the reason that it's all connected and you're like, how could you teach pussy stroking and business? And it's like, well, because, because ultimately when you're connected with the energy, right? When you practice energetic business, uh, it has, it, it's a lot easier, mm. right? Because you're not, you're not hustling and grinding. You're kind of like, I would, I would call it, it's more like surfing, mm -hmm. right? You're catching a wave of flow, well, universal flow. You're, you're hooking into something bigger than yourself in order to, you know, do this. And then you operate with principles that support that energy. So, you know, I teach that I teach like, um, how to not, how to like deal with cancel culture on the internet. And I, I teach, I teach lots of different frequencies and things like that. I'm, I'm coming up, I'm teaching a, a, a workshop on how to build a six figure business, like basics, right. For people. So it, it, it's like sex bomb is the core. Like it's, it's sort of like the foundation to work with me because basically it's the way that, um, it's the way I teach energetics. And so if people are like, how does this work? How does this work? Right. And, um, first of all, I have like these programs that are, are recorded, pre-recorded that people can come and take a class in the privacy of their own home. And all of this happens in the privacy of their own home. It's the videos are off. And basically you listen to a guided meditation that has music and basically instructions and inside of the like stroking instructions, you know, like directionally, et cetera. And, and then I, I will teach a lesson of energetics inside the class. Amazing. Like speaking with my girlfriends, I never realized before that how many women actually don't orgasm or how many women have problems with their partners or even when it comes to oral sex. And I was just like, what? You know, I would like sit there and ask all this, but what do you mean? Like never, like you don't like it. Like what is going on? You know, like I try to ask all these questions and they can't answer it. And, and it, it is unfortunately, again, this is another one of those things where like even the sex that we have as a culture mm -hmm. is very masculine oriented. Right. And so um, and there's also a lot of like, uh, I, what I would call extraction, right? So if you think about, if I describe the word extraction, you can think about the way we treat the natural resources of the planet, right? We kind of like, we don't give a shit, just going to take, 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 take. When that runs out, we'll find something else, right? Like there's, there's really not a, uh, feminine cyclical replenishment and nurturing of our resources. And that's a lot of the way that men and women are in relationship regarding her sexuality, right? That, that, that the woman is there to fulfill the sexual needs of the man. And by the way, I I'm all about fulfilling the sexual needs of men. Okay. Like I think that is, but, but if you as a woman are not resourced, Okay. Mm. If you don't have, if you're not resourced and you have given everything and you have nothing left to fucking give, well, then that is going to be at a detriment to you. Right. And if, and, and unfortunately too, because we live in such a sex, um, terrorized culture, like where you either have like, um, people who like think sex is like for married people only. And like, you know, and then there's no education about it. Right? right. So there's no real sex education. And then the other side of it is like people who are super sex positive and they're fucking everybody and it's porn and it's all this stuff. And it's like, no, there's something actually in the middle, which is like adult sex, exploration, communi communication, research, experimentation in an adult way that is 
not just like, um, like I don't know any adult that could not do a, a sex education. I do not know anyone who is having what I would call the um, full expanse of what's possible in their sex. What I think a lot of people do is they kind of see it as this secondary thing that like they get done or bang it out or, you know, rub one out or whatever, and just like move on. Like, okay, I have my needs met, but it's like, that's just, I mean, that is, that is literally dipping your toe in the ocean and thinking that you have explored the ocean. So, and there's a lot of power in that. There's a lot of connection, intimacy, you know, like it's, it's, you know, it's important. What are your thoughts on open relationships? Uh, I'm not a fan personally, because Mm -hmm. I think that in the majority of cases, and I come from a community where I did a lot of experimentation with open relationships and, and, and what it helped me with from an experimentation perspective is it helped me acknowledge, um, where I needed to communicate better, right? Like Mm -hmm. in order to be in a really healthy, open relationship, communication needs to be incredible. Um, it definitely wasn't for me. And most of the, what I notice for people that I know who do open relationships, there's a place where they're just not really being honest about the fact that like, it's kind of an avoidance of intimacy, right? It's like, I want to just be able to go out and sample and, and they, they kind of like are able to compartmentalize themselves with different people. And Hey, listen, I don't, I mean, if you want to do it, do it. Like, it's just not, to me, it's not the highest practice of, of what I'm interested in, but uh, there are a lot of people who find that it works for them. You know, maybe, maybe you are in a great marriage that has a great friendship and like the sex has died and you've been together for 18 years or something, and you have a great family and you love your family, but you're like, I don't want to have sex with you anymore. And Mm. I don't know, maybe, I mean, I've seen people do that and have it work, but I think eventually they get end up getting divorced anyway. And it's like, there's, I don't know. I mean, I definitely don't think that people should be stuck in relationships that are sexless if somebody wants to have sex. Like, I, I, I think sex is an important part of life and um, that may be a step for some people. And then other people just like it. You know, I, I know people who are, yeah. I don't know. It's not for me. That's right. for sure. yeah, neither. And not for neither. my husband either. My husband is like, a, <laughs> you know, like absolutely not a chance. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't share my food and I don't share my man. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Yeah, that's right. Nope. Um, and, and I put him, I mean, you see, here's the thing too, is that like we, I mean, I would never want anything in between us. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we have just like this beautiful energetic system, the two of us together and we have a lot of union in our relationship and I personally feel like um, it would really break something. It yeah. would really like deeply break something to have someone else in between that. Yeah. So.